Hey everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, welcome back to a new video. And today I'm bringing you something a little bit different, but something that I love, which is Animal Crossing. And grab a snack, come on back, make sure you like this video and you subscribe, and let's check it out. So, welcome. Normally my page is all about planner stuff, fun stuff, stuff like that. But today I'm going to be showing you something that I hold dear to my heart, which is video games. I love video games. Between my husband and I, we pretty much have every single system and we have a ton of games. Um, today I'm just going to be bringing you my Switch and... Um, you know, I would like to dress it up. I haven't had a chance. I've ordered a few things and hopefully it comes in the mail. Um, but knowing what's going on in the world, you know. So in terms of the Switch, I'm just going to show you some of the games that I have on here. I have games that I buy. I like physical games. I mean, if I'm going to put down so much money, yeah, you bet. I want a plastic case and a little, uh, conventional, like, video game, uh, insert cartridge right there. I have Monopoly up here. I just got this. So today we're going to be looking at Animal Crossing, but before we do that, I'm just going to show you the video games I have on my Switch that I've downloaded. So I have Jeopardy I downloaded, Clue, Uno, uh, Super NES, Nintendo stuff. I downloaded the Just Dance 2020, which was pretty cool. Night Trap, I have Xenoblade Chronicles, Super Smash, of course, um, Blade Strangers, and I have a few more. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, why aren't they showing up? SNK Heroes, which is so cool. I pretty much finished Mario Odyssey in three days. Astral Chain, Freebie, Tetris, Zelda, Link's Awakening, Mario, Raditz, Raditz, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Final Fantasy VII, uh, State of Mind, so, you know, just a few games. And then on my PS4 and Xbox One, ton of games. So before we do that, I, there are two parts to this video. I want to show you my island at the end of this video. And really, primarily, this video is going to be about, guess what? That's right, Ambio cards. Amiibo, Ambio, everybody has a preference. It doesn't matter. They are so stinking cute and ridiculously hard to find, especially now in 2020. I'm gonna show you my collection of Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. Okay, so some of you are probably like, girl, what you talking about? You know we are here for planner stuff, but today we are talking about video games. So if you're new to the world of Animal Crossing, let's just kind of back it up for you. Um, I'm a big video game freak. I have pretty much every system um, between my husband and I. We have so many video games and Animal Crossing has always been one of those games. Now, if you're new to the Animal Crossing world, I'm just gonna pull up my phone here. Oh my gosh, let's go all the way freaking back to Nintendo 64. So there is something called Animal Crossing Wild World. It was also introduced to the uh, DS. Um, and so, you know what I mean? Like, where have you been? Where have you been, you guys? So the N64 game was just Animal Crossing. Um, you know, now when we we put it back in, it's sort of like so ancient, but still so freaking cute. Um, my DS game was where I got introduced to it, which was Wild World. It was the cutest thing ever. And then, you know, then came the 3DS and there was Animal Crossing introducing Amiibo cards um, with Happy Home Designer and it just blew it out of the park. And you know, now there's like Pocket Camp, uh, Amiibo Festival, I had high hopes for it, but it's really like a game, you know, I sucker my husband into playing it, but it's one of those pulling teeth game where it's just like a board game. Anyways, welcome. I'm pretty sure you have New Horizon or else you wouldn't be here. So let's just talk about this album. I honestly have no idea where you're gonna find one. Um, I have seen some kicking around eBay and Amazon and people are selling them for like $500. It's pretty insane. So I got this a while back. Um, 
I got this probably in 2018 or 19. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Honestly, it was around Happy Home Designer and when I was finishing like New Leaf. Now it says Series 4 and that's just because there were other books. And this book does not house just Series 4 cards. It actually houses all my Animal Crossing cards. So sorry about the glare. You know, until we get my camera set up and everything ready, this is how it's going to be for a little bit. So in Series 4, you have all your characters. In the beginning, you have your special characters, and it's um, applied to the game. So um, these are all my special characters. They have a bit of a holographic foil to them. Isabel, probably my most treasured uh, amiibo cards. I got, I think I got one of them at Happy Home Designer, and I think I got one in the 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 Animal Crossing book, and it wasn't an, an Isabel as well. So, um, pretty lucky about that. And then some of them I've traded and hunted down. So I remember I wanted Digby so bad. I found some girl on Instagram, and then we traded. Next thing you knew, I got a pack of cards, and Digby was in there. So I have a double. Anywho. One of my most favorite special characters is Katrina. Oh, yes. And <laughs> KK, uh, which is DJ KK. And I love him with his, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like, dis, like, I don't know what do you call it. Like, record player thing. Oh, my DJing thing. Yeah. Anyways, I suck at that. So these are my <laughs> cards. My most recent ones I ordered online was Grams and Chip because I thought... Hey, heck, why not? I should probably get another special card because there's one empty here. So let's move on. I've kind of just housed my cards according to the type of character. So all of these are bears. Yes, and I am a big, big bear fan. I think, you know, when you play New Leaf and Happy Home Designer, sometimes you come across characters and you're like, holy goodness, like I just need to have you forever. And that's how I felt about Paula. This is back when. I loved Paula in my game of New Leaf so much. She just appeared one day and um, I'm like, yeah, yeah, live here, live here. And I was like, I need to have her amiibo card. And I went out and I got it. Same thing with Poncho and Maple. I love Blue Bear and Kurt was super cute. I found him in the video game store. And then, honestly, I don't know what series they all are. The hands represent the series. But I don't know how many packs of cards I had throughout the years. So just kind of bear with me. My favorite is Teddy. I am missing one that I really do love, um, but I'm not going to spend money on the card. I think it's ridiculous how people are like, for example, Marshall, no offense and don't come at me, but he is way too overrated and he is not a fun character and I don't care what anybody says. So here I have my little piggies. I only have like three sorry, four and then two boys. I have Maggie in my game who I think is like super depressed. Um, I'm kind of ha happy I don't have her amiibo card. Her amiibo card is actually in, in New Leaf when they opened up uh, a campsite. So, or was it Happy Home Designer? I don't remember, but it was a campsite card and she comes with furniture but not interested in Maggie. I love Peggy. She's probably my favorite, most, most favorite character of them all. And uh, Pensetti as well. I love I love all the girl pigs. I've never really played with Lucy. Um, but yeah, Rasher, he's a little bit gangster. And Kevin's uh, a little smarty pants. Annalisa, never played with her, but I got her card. Then somehow there's a lot of dog amiibo cards. I think my favorite was probably Cookie and Goldie for sure. And for those people who are buying hundreds of dollars worth of amiibo cards, can I just point out one thing? When you get amiibo festival, ambio festival, can I just tell you the game is $20, okay? Sometimes you can even get it for $5 at a used video game store. Probably, I mean, I don't know about now, but I knew it came with three cards and Goldie was one of them. So don't like spend your money on things that are not 
are not worth it. And in fact, here's like a public service announcement. In fact, I truly think Nintendo knows that this is such a big game changer and people are just buying and buying. They are probably most likely, if they're smart, they're going to probably put out some cards in the future. So please don't spend like $200 on a card, okay? And if you Google it, there's different ways how to get characters in your game. So there's Goldie, that's the Amiibo Festival, and then there's her regular card. I have two monkeys, Simon and Tammy. I love Marcel, a little freaky. He's sort of like a mime, but uh, I, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy him. You know, I'm just going to put this here for the glare. I hope, did I make it worse? I think it made it worse. Maybe there. There you go. I don't know. That probably made it worse. Anyways. I have two octopuses here, Zucker and Marina. There's two of three. I know people are going crazy for these characters. And again, I think they're so overrated. I have two koalas. Koalas from Australia. And it's Sydney and uh, Canberra. But I just realized they're both girls. And I was hoping... I just... I thought Canberra was a boy. But I guess not. Anyways. Um, I got Peewee. And then a hair of my little squirrels, Caroline, Hazel, Sally. I love the bunnies. Mira is probably super fun, super sassy, but Bon Bon is my jam. She is just adorbs. Tiffany is really spunky. Snake is funny. I've never really played with Pippi or Dottie, so there you go. Moving on, we got some cats, some kitty cats. Um, kitty, Kiki... For a second, I was like, do they all start with K's? Um, not a big cat person, but when I did play, I think I did like Cat himself. And then I love uh, Fuchsia. She's super adorable. She's super cute. Next, I have... Oh, this is just not working. Next, I have some tigers. Lions, sorry. Now, in my game, I am playing with Rex in, um, in New Horizons. But what I've realized is Rex never came with an Amiibo card. He came with a digital uh, Wild World card. So that was really, you know, interesting to see it. Because I thought he had an Amiibo card, but he doesn't. So there you go. There you go. I have Mott and Rory, and they're okay. I've never really played with them. Um, out of my frogs right now, again, same thing. I feel like there's a trend to the Animal Crossing New Horizons. Like, they've taken a lot of characters that were in um, Wild World, and they had e-cards, and they brought them back out. So I have um, Rex, who is super cute, and as a frog, same thing. His name is Huck, and he's okay. He's a bit of a lazy character. He's not so appealing, so I really do want to vote him out because at the moment I'm missing a few characters that are... I think, like, um, what are they? They're, like, snooty and, and something else. I forgot. So, for my ducks, I'm not a big bird fan, but these are my birds. I love Rod. I started playing with him in, <laughs> in New Horizons. The next thing I knew, I was like, I need to have his Amiibo card. So, I did go on eBay, and I spent $8, and you know what? I have it, and I'm good. I'm good. Next, uh, Rizzo's really funny, Batania, Bella, he has a really deep voice. My two little pigs are, oh, sorry, oh, no, wait, I have so many, I didn't realize that. Axel, Opal, Big Top, Margie, Dizzy. Um, never really played with some of them, I played with them in Happy Home Designer. I think Big Top was in my New Leaf, um, like, town, he was okay. Then we move on. We're getting to the characters I'm not a big fan of. And I'm sorry. I'm just not 100%. Sylvia is super sassy, which is normal, right? But she's a little too sassy for me. Timbra was in my New Horizons game. And uh, Kurlos, I guess. But I'm not a big fan of them. So I got rid of her as soon as I could. As for my wolves, I have some cool ones like Wolfgang, Cheek, Freya, Lobo, Fang, Sky. Uh, Fang's really cute. Chief's really fun. I don't really remember the other ones. And then I, again, so here are my characters I'm not too, like, thrilled with. I have Ed and Hipbox and Vic 
And so, yeah, no. And then some alligators or crocodiles are here. And I, again, I'm not a fan of birds. So here are the penguins. Flo, or was it Gwen? No, Gwen was in my game. And as soon as I could, I made sure I took her out. Um, Pashmina's here. Apple and Hamlet are two hamsters. Hamlet is a um, jock uh, character, villager. And I already have one, which is Rod, so he needs to go. And I just got him. Anyways, ooh, here's some more bird villagers. I do not like birds at all in real life, okay? But here they are. I had Buzz at one time. Same thing. Buzz was in Wild World. He had an amiibo card for, um, for the camp site. And ugh, I just, I got rid of him as soon as I could. So he's gone. And then here are my extras. Now, please... Please don't th message me because you know what? I'm have I I don't know what to do with these. I really don't. So here are my extras. I have Peggy, Gala, Sally, Cherry, Digby, Tommy, Red, Jingle, Rossetti, and Opal, Cat, Cat, Pee Wee, uh, Sparrow, and Kevin. So story time. Back when I don't even remember what year it was. Maybe two, three years ago. I was on Facebook. And I wanted to get rid of them because people were still kind of trading on the down low. And I remember I posted my cards and this and this person, I don't even know if it was a, if it was a, a boy or a girl, was just like, hey, yeah, uh, can you mail me all your cards and I'll send you? And then they had a list, right? And then I was like, wait, so, okay, not bad, but wait a second, you don't even have a picture of the physical cards that you can show me. And so I was just kind of weary and I didn't bother with the sale. In fact, I just probably said, um, you know what? I, I sold them because the person didn't have any pictures. What day and age in the, in, you know, the year 2000s, do you not have a phone camera. So I was really weary about that and I did not send, ship off my cards. I don't remember how much they cost, but I do remember, I think in a pack you get like five or six. I actually still have the physical packets, foil packets um, in a drawer. And so, you know, I'm really weary about mailing cards unless it's like legit. Um, so I'm not dealing with Facebook, but I think there will be a time where I will sell them and then I can buy other cards. The cards are so expensive at the moment and people are just bleeding people dry. So yeah, no, I don't know how I feel. And here's the back of the book. Super cute. That's happy home designer. And on the back, that's what it looks like. And I put a little sticker there. This is what came with it, it was this little poster inside of the book and it says happy home designer. You can pause the video and you can take a look of what it says. And I have the 3DS so there was a built in Amiibo reader. Um, if you had the, the older one with the NFC reader and writer, there was an accessory there. So there are 100 cards in each series so in total there's like 400 cards. And I'm really proud of myself, knowing me and my kind of addictive personality. I'm really happy I didn't go out and I bought boxes of cards because it would just be, like, too much. So I made sure to just buy cards I really, really love and want in my collection. I think I'm pretty happy. Um, my Julian card is somewhere. I had it. I think it's downstairs. I should probably go get it, but whatevs. Um, so yeah, and last but not least, before I let you guys go, I'm just going to show you my Animal Crossing planner. So here is my Animal Crossing planner, my friends. Um, I'm going to just show you this part. This is from my friend Jennifer, printable for planners. So amazing. I still have yet to decorate, um, and fill out some of the information here because I've just been so excited about playing with my villagers. So I just recently... Did this and it is a freebie you guys it is a freebie so um, I'll leave the link in my bio and you can go and grab it please make sure you leave five stars and check out her Etsy shop so these are my villagers I currently have I have Mira and Rod they're actually the two that I started off with and I wrote their birthday and, and when they moved in and their phrase goal and fear here we have Maggie who I think is clinically depressed oh let me move back 
Okay, so Mira wants to be, um, like, a superhero superstar. Rod is totally a jock. He wants to, you know, be an MVP. Maggie, like I said, was clinically depressed. She's there. She's okay. Rex is kind of funny. He's super cute. Um, Peggy is adorable. She's sassy and fun and loves to sing. Julian's a smug villager, and he his house is stunning. I can see why this guy's card is going for hundreds of dollars. It's insane. It's insane. Um, then I just moved in Maple because I wanted Maple, and she has a normal style. And then Hamlet, I gotta move out. I just moved him in a few days ago, but he's again a jock, and I didn't really know that, and I love my rod, so I'd rather keep my rod. Hornsby, I'm on the fence. I, you know, again, he has a Wild World uh, e-card, and he never, I don't think he came out with a camper card, and he's okay, and I'm just kind of on the fence, but I don't know what to do. I had Kurt. I, um, I amiiboed him in, but I, um, took him out as soon as I could. Buzz overtook his house, and I wasn't happy because, again, I don't like birds. Gwen was here. Didn't like her either. She's gone. Astrid is moving out as we speak tonight. <laughs> and, um, Huck is, again, I'm on the fence with. So anyways, you can check out this printable. It's super free, and you can fill it out, and you can kind of, po you can post, like, who comes to your island, and how you organize your island, and things like that. So check that out, my friends. Another insert is the Animal Crossing Guidebook. If you really want to know, drop me a message on Instagram. I'm not going to write down, um, whose uh, insert it is because there are a lot of mistakes and I don't want to put it out there um, because, you know, when you pay for something, you know, it should kind of be quality over the cost of everything. I don't know. It's just really wild. So I had to do a lot of whiteout and a lot of things are missing actually. Would you believe my fossil collection is complete? Oh yes, um, that's complete. And then my my KK slider collection's coming along well. Another thing that I didn't like about this DIY collection is it is just all over the place. I wish everything was just in alphabetical order in terms of like DIY stuff. And yeah, I just wish everything was just in alphabetical order for the DIY. Um, so yeah, check it out, my friends. Check out the free printable. And thanks so much for watching. I'm going to be making an Animal Crossing cover. So I'll post a video of that soon. But yeah, happy planning, happy playing, you know, chill out, find joy, spark joy. This is an awesome time to learn to play video games if you've never played video games in your life. And uh, please, please, please don't spend hundreds of dollars on cards. There are other ways to get your characters. Google it, YouTube it, and um, who knows? Like I said, Nintendo, if you're smart, hopefully you'll make some cards for everyone. Anyways, have a happy day, everyone. Bye!